Hey guys. Hey, hey Brian, Craig. congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, too bad that you couldn't have fans in the building because they missed a heck of a hockey game. Uh, obviously, the win is great, but let, let's get to uh, number 200 here. That's just going to be a tremendous accomplishment for any coach. Sure, but it only means I have 300 and something more to catch my dad. I'm running out of time. So um, 200 wins. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of guys. I, I, I don't think I won any of those games. But they're, they're, they're the guys in the room tonight, um, all the other guys that have sat in that room. So uh, they're all part of that. Um, Obviously, when you can reach a milestone like that with a, with a game like this, um, you're probably not going to forget it. So just thankful to have had the opportunity to coach so many great guys. You certainly don't need the validation given your success. No, I mean, I, I, like, I tell people all the time, I, I have the best job in all of coaching. You know, um, I grew up wondering why my dad stayed here for as long as he did. But then when I had the chance to kind of sit where he sat, now I know why he stayed. Having the opportunity to be around cadets and, and, and coaching here at West Point, it's not even a job. Um, you know, it's an honor. And, and uh, I still pinch myself that I'm actually the coach here at West Point. So very, very grateful that um, I've been able to spend so much time here uh, as a coach. And take us from, uh, you know, last night when we talked about you had concerns about your team last night. And obviously it looked like your team answered those concerns today. Yeah. You, you know what? I mean, one of my concerns was uh, having not played in a while. I mean, because we, we, were, we had to uh, take some time off here for a couple of weeks. And I thought last night, like we really got our legs in, in the third period. I didn't know how that would translate to today, but. Um, you know, our guys were really, really gritty and we had a good start. We had to weather the storm in the second period a little bit. And Justin did a great job. He was very composed and calm. And, uh, I think that made all of us calm. And, and then, um, I thought we, we played really, really solid, uh, in the third period and, and there was no panic to our game. Go ahead, Kenny. And coach, I just when did your father first uh, coach at West Point? How many years back do, do have Riley's coached at West Point now? Uh, since 1950. Since 19. So, I'm not a math guy, but I guess that's 71 years, right? Yeah. So um, it's like the old five and ten cent store, right? It it, it it's been, um, but really. Uh, like I said, I know if my dad and my brother Rob were here, like um, they would both say the same thing that uh, coaching here is an honor and a privilege. And because of the type of people that you get to be around every day, because of the type of young men that uh, you spend with in the locker room. And um, like, I mean, I do. I, I, I honestly still pinch myself that that I'm the coach at at West Point. Um, wow. Well, it, it's a, a terrific. What just take us through the challenges this year of uh, of dealing with uh, the uh, cadets going home in the spring and then coming back in June and uh, different types of training schedules and then uh, then the COVID situation you had. Uh, last month just what, were, what how did you manage all that well first of all um all the credit has to go to our superintendent uh lieutenant general williams and and his leadership team uh along with mike buddy our, our athletic director number one uh the suit put together a great plan to have all the cadets back here and um you know try to be as normal as possible but the thing that I'm most appreciative of was the fact that the soup and, and Mike Buddy, our, our AD, understand the importance of competition and, and competing and, and winning. So uh, like, I can't, I can't thank them enough for, um, for giving us this chance. Um, I think our team, you know, coming back the way last year ended, you, 
you learn to appreciate something even more. Like, like I always tell people, you don't realize how much you miss something until it's gone. And then when the season ended last year and not knowing what this year was going to be like, we're just appreciative of any day that, that we get to come to the rink and practice as a team. And then when you throw in having the opportunity to compete, um, that's just icing on the cake. So a lot of it, all of it, um, the credit goes to the leadership team and it, and it starts with the soup here. And it looked like tonight, Coach, some of your younger players really emerged between your goaltender, uh, uh, who is a sophomore, and uh, then uh, Lincoln Hatton getting the game winner in the uh, third period. Uh, it must have felt good for you to see your young players emerging. Absolutely. I mean, we knew with, uh, we knew with Justin that um, we were going to have to get them in this year, uh, you know, just because of how we're going to have to play a lot of games in a short period of time. Uh, we thought today was a perfect opportunity because we had such a quick turnaround from last night. And also we had been off the ice and really had only practiced. And, and our goalies had really practiced only, I think, for like four days. Uh, and, you know what, I mean, he's been waiting for an opportunity. He was a little banged up last year, but uh, had surgery done and um, obviously healthy. So uh, just just really, really happy for him. Um, and, and and also, like, we know that, that we have a good goalie in Trevin Kozlowski. Um, but this just, I think, gives us depth, and we feel that we have a third goalie, another plebe. Uh, and then up front, you know, Link scored that goal. It was a great pass by his line mate. Uh, he's a fellow classmate. Um, we think we think that our young guys can be great additions to this program. And uh, what a night for all of them. This is certainly something that I'm sure that uh, they won't forget. Good Brian, Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kenny. Just uh, what your thought about uh, this past week was branch night for your seniors, and they were they were selected their roles in the U.S. Yeah. Army. Uh, what were some of the branches they, they, they were assigned to and how did they react to it? So we, we had infantry, field artillery, and engineering. Um, what I think about that is uh, obviously the traditions of West Point and, and the milestones every year that, that each class go, goes through. But really, when you see your seniors, your firsties hit these milestones, and number one, you look at them and, and you feel like it's been in the blink of an eye, like where have the four years gone? But the other thing that, that it makes me think of, the U.S. Army will, will be getting a group of young men that will be great additions to their team. Um, I'm just thankful that we have the opportunity to coach them uh, and be around them for a few more months. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations again. All right. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, Brian, yep. well, how, did you, how did you address last night's game with your team today? Yes. as far as trying to get a more positive outcome? Yeah, so um, Zach and, and Arlen um, did a great job breaking down video, and, and, and we, we just picked a couple points that uh, we felt we could maybe tweak going into tonight's game. But, but really, um, like, I felt good about last night's game as far as how we competed, and I knew it was going to be hard ha having a layoff. Um, but we told them that we just kind of want to build off the momentum um, that we kind of generated last night at the end of the game. And it's hard to win. Um, every year you're trying to create a new team identity. And um, I think the way they finished last night, understanding that winning third periods is really important. And obviously that's what it came down to tonight. Who's ever going to win the third period is going to win a game. So, uh, I think this was just a great learning experience um, for our group. And, and the biggest thing is learning how to win. How concerned were you, though, going 51 minutes scoreless? Huh. I was really concerned because, like last night, we had a couple grade A opportunities that, that, that didn't go in. And, uh, so I, and scoring goals for us, like we've never been this offensive juggernaut. Um, so, we're a team that that needs to uh, win games like this, Ken, right? one nothing, 2 nothing, 2-1. But, man, I sure would like for some nights to see maybe four pucks go in or five pucks go in. But um, 
tonight was a night where you where you only needed one goal and um we happened to get it so that was awesome I just want to ask you one more about yep. uh, choosing Justin. Uh, you've been coaching for a long time, so you've had an opportunity to give kids their first collegiate start many times in your career. Yeah. Yep. What was it like telling Justin this morning, and then what was it like seeing him deliver the way he did? Yeah. Well. Well. well first of all, it was hard telling Trev that 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 we were going to give Justin an opportunity because you know what? I mean, goalies. There's only one goalie that can play, and they want to be in. But, but um, we, as a staff, felt that that this was uh, the right time to give him an opportunity. He he's been really good in practice. And the thing about him, Ken, is um, what they said about him coming into West Point is the kid's a gamer. And if you were to look at his records it, while he played junior hockey, um, he had a lot of wins. So, um, I, I mean. I can't imagine what he's going to feel like when he gets to call home and talk to his mom and dad. I'm sure they watch the game and they're probably saying, well, why the hell hasn't coach Riley played you before this? Um, but I mean, he, he created a memory that, that will last forever and uh, just really, really happy for him. He's a, he's a great kid. He, he's a great representative of our program. He's a great representative of the Academy. So um it's nice when, when, when good things happen to your players. It does create a situation for you now in the future, though. You know, <laughs> who, do you, who do you go with, right? Yeah, no, I mean, it, I guess that's a good problem to have. And instead of just throwing a goalie in there, hoping that, that one of them, I mean, like I said, we know that, that we have a really good goalie in Trev. He's won a lot of games here in the last couple of years. And uh, now, obviously, we found out tonight that um, – in a game situation, uh, we have another really good goalie too. Yeah, and so besides Justin and Macklett and Hatton uh, getting on the on the score sheet, anybody else impress you tonight with their play? Um, I I just thought it was a really solid team win, Ken. I mean, it it was one of those guys where you don't look at it and say, "Hey, these three guys or these four guys." Obviously, Justin stood out between the pipes, but. I thought everybody contributed to this win. And um, we're the type of team that is going to win games because of our group, because of our team. So um, I really thought everybody, everybody played an important role in tonight's game. Thanks, Brian.